video is for Juniperus and anyone else who gets anything from it. I don't really have a place to set up the camera right now. So we're just gonna talk a little bit. I might try to do a couple yoga moves while holding this and see how it turns out. So, when it comes to balance and equilibrium, before we get into more of the physical aspects, we'll, we want to first engage stilling the mind. Because uh, once we gain balance and equilibrium in the mind, then the body will follow. So to do this, um, meditation, for sure, and also uh, pranayama, certain breath techniques, like um, an inhale count for, uh, say, four, hold for four, exhale, four, six, and then repeat, something along those lines, or just whatever feels right, engaging it, totally going into the breath out of the thoughts, whatever technique works best for you. And then of course, working your way up to uh, Wim Hof method, or more intensive breathing and pranayama practices. It's going to bring in a lot of energy and prana into the body and help the body find, find its balance. And this also kind of gets into um, whenever we engage the body more. Um, you can call it working out or doing simple exercises or just engagements. Um, this is going to get the hormones more balanced. It's going to get the blood flow, everything circulating and feeling balanced. So that's going to translate into your physical balance and just uh, equilibrium. And also, why a yoga practice, one of the many reasons why a yoga practice is very beneficial is realigning your skeletal structure. This is going to be pretty huge in not just balance and equilibrium, but also overall health and well-being. A lot of the times with a lot of people who aren't all that active, especially in today's world, a lot of people are uh, sitting down more than anything. Um, we get used to these, um, especially when, whenever they happen at a young age, say from sitting at a school desk for hours on end. We get used to these misalignments being there, and then as time passes, we, we just uh, cope with it. We don't really realize uh, that we can fix it. <clears throat> and uh, the release that happens, the freedom that happens once our body is aligned, more fluid. And also something that can mess with your equilibrium and balance is going to be if you have like issues going on with your neck or say uh, in between the shoulder blades um, even going up into your jaw and uh, your sinuses if you have weird stuff going on with that <laughs> that can throw off your equilibrium obviously so um, some good practices to help with clearing out that uh, sinus, and also if you have like ear stuff going on, that that's a real big one on throwing off equilibrium. Um, doing the nasal rinse, a neti pot, and you can use all kinds of different liquids for that. Um, I've been using Orin for that lately, and it seems to really uh, get the job done and also heal everywhere it's going in.
so starting from the bottom working our way up um, the feet that's 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 your foundation there and that's um, it's going to be a huge factor in, in finding balance and, and having balance so a very simple way to help re-enliven your your potentially weakened muscles of your ankles and feet and lower calves is uh, walking around barefoot. Or if you can't do that yet, just use uh, like minimal shoes, say something like this. It has hardly anything. Because <clears throat> the more support you have, <clears throat> the weaker. Yeah, it's, it's helpful for walking on pavement that's everywhere right um, for impact but over time that atrophies your your feet so doing little exercises just like uh, bouncing on your ankles strength exercises for your feet and ankles it's really gonna help you're really gonna notice that uh, helping your, your overall balance And then moving up, the strengthening the legs, doing exercises or yoga poses that strengthen the legs is going to really, also really help. And some of those, there's like a, the chair pose, that's a really good one. Um, Also, the warrior poses, or just staying like up against the wall with your legs bent in a, a horse stance, strengthening the legs like that, doing lunges, and then working our way up to the well the the glutes the buttocks uh, those those are huge muscles and those are really going to help uh, your overall strength your your leg strength and then moving up into like the lower back the back muscles are going to be huge as well and then also the abdomen muscles the stronger your abdomen is, the the stronger your core is. We really want to have a strong core. It's going to help and translate into everything. Once we connect all these muscles together and use our whole body and kind of relearn how to use our body the correct way. And then moving up to doing neck and shoulder rolls because that's going to throw off your equilibrium or it can if you have neck issues so just some the gentle neck rolls shoulder rolls that's going to help and also I noticed in one of Skyhopper's videos he was having shoulder issues and I think maybe he said electric towel commented that he was too so some quick shoulder things that you can do. Ah, oh, this is really hard to show. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this because it takes two hands. Well, one quick little thing is just allowing the arms to kind of flail and, and spin. It'll help loosen things up. Spin the arms. A lot of different shoulder things that we can do and clasp both of the arms around the back and pull and then every time whenever you do stretches or yoga poses you want to think about the counterbalance the counter pose so when we're going back this way also going forward and that's going to help and 
say if you can put your back up against something and kind of push and stretch that. There's a lot of different shoulder and neck exercises that we can do. But I'm constantly struggling with <laughs> struggling. Um, in the process of realigning. Because um, I've had some major alignment issues that I uh, just coped with, I guess, whenever I was young. So um, now that I'm able to engage more, it's um, it, it can get pretty nuts. So I'm always popping things, and I've always done that, though. But uh, yeah, just just engage the body more. So a few yoga balancing poses would be, say, tree pose. And I believe this is dancer or something. There's just all kinds. And whenever we're doing these balancing poses, <laughs> So I want to come back to the breath. Find your balance there. And it's going to stabilize you more. <coughs> and also whenever <coughs> you engage balancing poses, you'll notice that the more ankle strength and leg strength that you have, the easier these balancing postures and poses are going to be for you. So yeah, there's a quick little thing for you on that. Hopefully you got something from that. Keep it simple. Engage. Always engage. Body and the mind in the stillness. Engage the stillness. Find your inner balance and that will translate in your outer experience and expressions. <laughs>